Hey, AI enthusiasts. Get ready to witness the magic of Autogen. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of Autogen and its powerful tool, Autogen Studio. Ever wondered how to effortlessly create AI agents? Stick around, because I've got some exciting answers for you. So, what's the deal with Autogen? It's a Python package by Microsoft, making the complex world of large language models, LLMs, a breeze. And the star of the show? Autogen Studio, an interface that lets you play with AI agents like never before. Now, let's break down what's on the agenda today. We're going to explore. Number one, what exactly is Autogen? Number two, how Autogen Studio works its magic. Number three, the step-by-step -step guide to installing and using Autogen Studio locally. But before we dive in, I want to hear from you. Have you ever tried working with AI agents? Drop a yes or no in the comments below. And for the seasoned pros out there, share your favorite AI project. Let's create a space for everyone to learn and share. Autogen. All right, let's start at the beginning. Autogen, a tool that simplifies the game. It orchestrates, optimizes, and automates LLM applications. Think of it as your AI assistant, ready to tackle tasks using the impressive GPT-4 and other advanced LLMs. No coding headaches, just seamless interaction. Autogen has proven its worth, reducing manual efforts in supply chain optimization and making coding tasks four times easier. Imagine building complex systems like code-based question answering effortlessly. Now, let's level up with Autogen Studio. Autogen Studio. Enter Autogen Studio, the visual playground for your AI ambitions. A user-friendly interface that lets you define and modify agents without breaking a sweat. It's all about simplicity and efficiency in one neat package. Now, you might be wondering, how do I get this magic on my machine? Fear not, my friends, because I've got your back. We're about to embark on the journey of installing Autogen Studio right on your local setup. Let's move to step-by-step -step installation process. Follow the link in the description and we'll go through the installation together. It's as easy as following a recipe, just a few commands and you're ready to unleash the power of Autogen Studio. Next, go to your system and open your command prompt and PowerShell and create a new virtual Python environment using this conda command, conda create and Autogen Studio 1 Python 3.1 and enter now. Entra Y for continue process. After complete this process, Start your new environment using this command, conda activate autogen studio 1, and enter now. My new virtual environment, autogen studio 1 started. Next set up your OpenAI API key using this command. If you use macOS then enter export OpenAI API key, your API key. And if you use Windows then enter set OpenAI API key, your API key. In this video I use Windows, so enter this command set my API key. I go to my OpenAI platform and go to API key tab and create a new API key, copy and paste in my terminal and set my API key in environment. Important notice. Sometime you face your API key setup issue with this command in your PowerShell, set open I API key, your API key then set your API key using this command, nv open I API key, yachor, your API key. Okay, let's move to your Autogen Studio GitHub page and go to installation section and copy this command and paste in your terminal. After installing your requirement dependencies move to our next command and directly move to application running command and copy this command paste in your terminal. Autogen Studio UI, port 8081 and enter now. Next copy this local host URL port and open in your browser. After run successfully, you can see this type of user interface in your browser. Autogen Studio. In your user interface you get three tabs, Build, Playground and Gallery tab. 
in Build tab, you create your skills for your AI agent. You see some default created skills, and you create your own skills using New Skill tab. Create your new skills. First enter your skill name and enter your function codes, and create your skills. And you can see all your created skill codes and function details. And if you want to create your agent, then go to Agent tab and create your new AI agents. Go to New Agent tab and create now. First enter your agent name for example, Sample Assistant. Next input, your agent description. Create your system message in this tab. Choose your model for example selected GPT-4, and if you want to other models then click Add tab and add your models. Next, add your skills. Choose any skills you want and add now. OK, create your agent, and you can see your new created AI agent here. Next move to Workflow tab. In Workflow tab you work with two agents in same time. You see all your default workflows and if you create new then click new workflow tab and create now. Enter your workflow name, descriptions and select your agent models and skill details and create your workflow. Next go to your Playground tab and use all your created workflow. First select your workflow and enter your prompt. For example, I use these demo prompts and get my result. And you see all my agent created files and data. After complete your workflow process, you have two options. First, you delete your workflow. And next, publish your workflow and your published workflow available in your gallery tab for future work. So if you want to save your workflows then publish now and see all your saved workflow in your gallery tab. And there you have it. Autogen and Autogen Studio demystified. Stay curious, stay creative, and I'll catch you in the next AutoGPT tutorial. Happy coding everyone, see you next time.